The following is a RackRadioShow.com exclusive. And we have to talk about the biggest, or I should say the other biggest story that came out of WrestleMania week. And that is that one AJ Lee has retired from WWE. This story was so big, we were trying, we were thought about recording it with Lindsay having no voice. Yeah. Seriously, <laughs> seriously tried to get a voice Friday because that's when the news broke because I was sitting here and my phone went off and I was like talking to my mom and I was like sitting there and I saw the notification pop up and I was like, holy crap. And my mom was like, what? Like, I don't think I could explain it. So but it's he, like, you wouldn't get it, basically, but it's like, it's like, oh my god, AJ retired. That's crazy. So I'm sitting there in the restaurant waiting to pick up dinner. I get this text from Lindsay. So about the show. Yeah, so about the show, can we, because we were going to actually record WrestleMania separate, and we yeah. were going to attack AJ on, but again, no voice. All right, we were, so We were going to do the show, but it was going to be, anyway, point being, we were trying, and things broke Friday. It was like, holy crap. And I was like... AJ Lee retires. Interesting. Because you weren't... On one hand, you weren't expecting it, but on the other hand, you should have been. It's not... Like, once you get over the initial shock that it happened, it's not a huge surprise that it had been ruined, or I should say it had been rumored for a while that she had been planning on it. Right. Especially after she got married, and, you know, honestly, after everything she's done, I don't know if there's really anything else she can do. If but that makes sense. In terms of accomplishments, probably not. She, you know, there were things she could have could do. She probably wanted to wrestle Steph. She probably wanted to wrestle some of the new girls coming up. But it's like for her, she's in a in, in a tough spot because of the environment she's in. Yeah. Because and her husband is in legal battles with the head trainer for WWE. It's like here she is. Here's she's a, she's a rock in between a hard place. Yeah, and it doesn't help the way that her husband left because I'm sure, you know, there are people that support him and there are people that don't support him and they're going to take it out on her a little bit, you know, maybe not completely, but everybody's going to take that out a little bit on the person associated with the person they're mad at. So it had to be extremely uncomfortable for her to be working there. Especially once the podcast dropped. Yeah. Once the podcast dropped, things probably really changed. See, they were probably not the best being there, but once the podcast dropped and he just sort of... Let everybody have it. Let everyone have it, told his side of the story, and just ripped into the company. That next Monday had to be like, Hi, I'm, over, I'm, I'm just going to sit over here. I'm not here. If you need me, I'm just going to be in the corner. Just ignore me. Like, I don't control him. I don't know what he did. <laughs> I am so sorry. It, it, he, 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 you know who he is. He, he's CM Punk. He just goes off with the mouth. He, 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 you know. Yeah. So, and I'm sure she also wanted to take time off. I'm sure she wanted to let her body heal up because it's probably harder on her than it is on some of the other girls because there's not a lot to AJ. Let's be frank. She's she's a hundred pounds soaking wet. Yeah, and it's got to be harder on her. And she's taken time off recently for her body to yeah. heal, heal up and everything. And it's something she's now married. It's been a year. She was engaged a year ago. Even though Twitter decided to say she broke, or they broke up at one, one night, which was an amazing story on, on its own. And they're coming up on their one year, uh, wedding anniversary in June. Yes. So congr- hopefully congratulations to that, to that. We'll, we'll talk about it in, in June. But it's sort of like, okay. She, she, she is the longest reigning Divas champion in company history. She got two WrestleMania moments. Actually, three. She, actually, she's been part of, what, four WrestleMania moments now? I think so. She kissed Daniel Bryan the one year she, where she became the kiss of the other. She kissed Dan, uh, she was kissed Ziggler the next year. Had her real moment at WrestleMania 30 when she won the Battle Royal, which we no one ex- not, it wasn't the Battle Royal, it was the Invitational. Yeah. Which, which no one thought she was going to retain the title for, with. And then, you know, she got the win at WrestleMania in in, the, in the San Jose, San Francisco, wherever you want to call it, this past year. So she's had her moment. She's had she's been in the company since 2009, right? I think that's yeah. one of the things we brought it back to. And she's young enough. 
if she ever wants to come back, retirement is never for, never you know a thing that lasts forever. It's wrestling, but they'll probably be holding to her to her contract for a while till it runs out, and even then they could it could roll over into something else and become something. And you, you know how their contracts work. Just look at Rey Mysterio. Yeah, but something where we mentioned she's married. Well, I mean, at this point, you just look at her from a financial perspective. She's been smart with her money. She doesn't spend lavishly. She's just sort of been probably putting money away. She's married to someone who's very well off. Punk has been smart with his money as well. He's put a lot of it away. He's not a lavish spender. He already, pretty, he already owns his home. He already owns his home. They're pretty much set up for life if they're smart. And they really... She doesn't need to continue wrestling. She's been a top diva now for at least two to three years. She's, at least two. At least two, two and a half, and actually three with her role as the general manager. She's made a lot in, she probably made a lot in merch sales because a lot of girls have bought her merch, including someone, included. Close someone on this phone call last night. Um, hey, you know, they're going to put that shirt on sale for 10 bucks. I'm going to buy it. Right? Uh, <laughs> you know, just. Go to www.shop.com. They're running a sale for another hour or so. Um, yeah. But, yeah, I mean, it's, she's, career-wise, she's had an amazing career. I'm sure there's more that she wants to do, but the the opportunities to do that are probably slim to nil or have already closed. And it's something that you reach that point where it's time to move on. And I think she's reached that point. I think she wants to go to whatever that next phase of her life is, whether she stays home and she just hangs out, whether she has a family, you know, whatever she wants to do. We also need to keep in mind that Punk will be making his UFC debut probably in the summer. Probably at the end of the year, somewhere to the end of the year, somewhere. Somewhere in that time span. And so it's not going to be a good idea for her to be in WWE when that happens. And so it's easier for her to get out early, you know, get a WrestleMania moment, get a WrestleMania payday, retire after Mania, and move forward with her life. And then that way she can concentrate on being home with him. Because I really think that was the primary thing. She just wanted to be home with her husband. Pretty much. Now, we're going to have a couple of discussion questions off of this topic, alright? Okay. First one. What's your favorite Age of moment? Oh my god, when she kissed Kane. <laughs> oh, the drama of that moment. <laughs> I... This is going to sound so pathetic. But I ship Kane and AJ so hard... And I always wanted them to do something more with that, and they never did. Her Harley Quinn phase. Her Harley Quinn phase. Like, the Harley Quinn AJ with the cane mask was just epic. That was awesome. And I, like I said, I just, I wish they had done more with that, and they didn't. Uh, what and, about you? And as we've seen on, on, on WWE television, Kane is not, like, the most picking up, or the guy who picks up on the most signals. He gets so confuddled around women. It's adorable. He does. I liked when she was in charge of Raw. I really did. I thought they shortchanged her a little bit in that run. I think they could have done more with her. I, yeah. li- I liked it was different. It's like, you had Vicky Guerrero on SmackDown. That's SmackDown. And that's Vicky Guerrero. This was a young girl in charge of Monday Night Raw causing chaos. I thought that was really cool. I liked her time with Ziggler as well. I thought, I thought they left money on the table there too. Those are two things I, I thought. I thought they lost, left money on the table with GM and left money on the table with, with her and Ziggler because they were a great heel duo. Oh, they were. I still want a match between her and Ziggler. I know it will never happen, but I still want that match because they did such a great job in that breakup. I thought they did a good job with her and Vicky. Her and Vicky, they did. They, her and Vicky was done well. Yes, I would agree with that. Like, 2012 was, was great. that summer. Everything. All right. Everything that she led us to hell now. Yes. Her role, the, 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 the I guess the, the love square, we'll call it, with Daniel Bryan, Kane, and, 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 and CM Punk. Yeah. That was some of the best television they did with a female for a while. Oh, yeah. I thought they mixed it up really, really well. And she was in, she may have not been wrestling, but she was actively involved in main events of Monday Night Raw in 2012. That's an accomplishment right there. Yep. Now, that's, you know, favorite moments and everything. Plus her, her feud with Caitlyn. Can't forget that. Yeah, that was good. They, they, 
those two had the chemistry that just worked perfectly. Her together. and Biggie. Her and Biggie, yeah. Oh my god, that was so cute. Right. Now, that's where, that's AJ's legacy, right? Right. There's now a hole in the Divas division. Who's going to fill that hole? You have a cornucopia of girls on the roster right now. Because here's the thing. This is the first first diva to leave. It's been rumored, and there was a cliffhanger on Total Divas. Not that you can fully believe it, but there is a cliffhanger on Total Divas that the Bellas are considering leaving. So that would open two more spots up. Let's stick with the one for now. Right, I know. I'm getting there. So you either have the divas on the current roster step up, which you I would love to see of the current roster divas, Naomi step up and, and looks, fill that spot. All right. First off, Naomi, slow it down. Yeah. Slow it down. You, you get too caught up on yourself sometimes when you go too fast. I would love to see Naomi because they're sort of pushing her in that direction right now where it's like, all right, she's headed there. I like to see her step up because, as we're going to talk about, I think we're talking about this week. This is where I'm looking back at the sheet. I think we're talking about it. Um, yeah, we are. Okay, so it'll tie in. There's going to be another spot open for six weeks when the, when the diva leaves. So we're going to have two spots currently open that we know about. Who else is leaving? Well, Paige, as we're going to talk about, we'll throw it in here because it makes sense. Yeah. Paige and The Miz are starring in Santa's Little Helper. Oh, that's right. After getting fired from his job, a, a slick, fast-talking businessman, Dax, is given an opportunity of a lifetime to become Santa Claus' second in command. However, getting the job back, oh, getting the job won't be that easy. Dax must go head-to-head against an elf that feels she's more deserving of the title. As the competition heats up, Dax learns the true meaning of Christmas. But ultimately, who will become Santa's little helper? So she's going off. She's going to probably be off TV for six weeks coming up here soon, because that's usually the time frame of the month to six weeks. Something like that, yeah. Something like that. So it's something where, okay, Naomi's going to fill a spot, but who else is going to fill that spot? Because, again, no offense to some of the girls on the roster, if we're giving, hashtag giving divas a chance, we got to give some newer divas some chances. And, and Paige is all for giving some newer divas a chance, and you got to let some of the girls on the roster right now have the chance. But I don't need to see a Rosa Mendez or a Cameron step into this spot. I would like to see Charlotte. I'd like to see Sasha Banks. I'm like, I'm cool with Charlotte, but I'd like to see Sasha. I don't think... I, Sasha would work, but I think... I think she would work be- better if the, when the Bellas back off a little. Yeah, she would be better for the Bellas spot. Another one, Bailey. Yeah, they, they could do so. Again, that would be... Bailey would be an excellent choice if they do... If they, if they bring up... Like, Charlotte, they come in and throw her right into the fire. Bailey, they're going to have to train the audience to who she is, if that makes sense. Yeah. But I would love to see Bailey. I would love to see Sasha. I would love to see Charlotte. One of them filled the spot of AJ. Absolutely. Because it's like, those girls can go. Like, really, legitimately go. Yeah, we're about to see, as the Divas division begins to turn over... I think we're going to see a second coming of the Divas division where you now, you're transitioning from the more model types who are good in the ring, who have learned, who have adapted and have grown, and they are good at what they do, to wrestlers who have really perfected their craft. And that's not a shot at the girls who are in the ring right now. That is not intended as a shot. It's It's not a shot, no. It's there. There is a very clear difference between some of the girls on the roster right now and some of the girls down in NXT. And as those girls on the roster transition off and move on to other things, you're going to see the girls down in NXT come up and you're going to see huge difference in the Divas division. We're going to see a change. And we could, there's a lot of people talk about it, but there's the golden era of the Divas division, of the women's division. And we could almost get that again. Which, as a female fan, that is super exciting to me. To actually see legit female wrestlers going out there and representing and just kicking ass and taking names. I would be totally okay with that. Uh, that would be pretty cool. Because, yeah, we, we mentioned Lita and the Trishes and the Ivories, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. That was the golden age. And we've had good women wrestling with Mickey James. And there's been some Beth Phoenixes and Natalias and everything. They never gave Beth Phoenix the chance they should have. 
Because I don't think there was enough talent around her to do it. No, there wasn't. There really, really wasn't. And it was no unfortunately, offense, it was no offense to Kelly Kelly and the like, because Kelly Kelly improved as she got as she moved on. Yeah. Just like the Bellas, they've grown into the role. It's just something sort of like there's a chance there, with the girls down there, and you don't bring them all up at once because then you're overloaded, and it's like, what's next? If you bring them up individually and slowly, you're going to have a nice group of talent in the next year to year to eighteen months. And with this whole Give Divas a Chance thing, Paige was talking about it in interviews. It's like, the would be so cool about it. Because they're, it's not like a huge difference, but they're not ru- making the girls rush anymore. They're giving them more time. And it's more, but they're not rushing through the segment like they used to. It's not, it's not a throwaway segment. No, it's not. Which is the, the best part of it all. I agree. But it, it's sad to see AJ go. But at the same time, there's a nice group of talent waiting in the wing. Yes. Yes, there is.